Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Fan Art Friday. This week I'm working on a drawing of Mercy from Overwatch, and actually, out of all of the Overwatch characters, I think Mercy was probably the most requested in the comment section of my videos, so I wanted to make sure this was a priority to work on for this week's video. Um, I tried to aim for an anime style in this drawing, and I wanted to have that comic panel effect as well, and I opted for a kind of side view of Mercy, with her looking over her shoulder. For the outlines of this drawing I used a wine coloured Copic Multiliner that is 0.05mm so it gave me that extra control. I focused some of the thicker outlines to the more prominent features of the drawing, so adding thicker outlines to her eyelashes and to some of the features around her face. Um, also making sure to add thicker outlines to the areas that I would add some darker shading to later on, and just using the outlines to help direct where I wanted to add the shading later on overall. Once I'd completed the outlines, it was time to move on to the colouring, and for the colouring of this drawing I used Copic markers, starting off by working on the skin tones. And for the skin tones of drawings like this, I have my regular markers that I really love to use, those being pinkish white, pale grape, light grape, and pale heath. Starting off with the pinkish white to add the first layer of colouring, and then using the pale grape to add some of the darker shading to some areas uh, underneath the hair, and to the underside of the nose, and those kind of areas. Um, afterwards, I, I actually used a tiny bit of light grape, because it's quite a lot darker than the other colours, so I didn't want to add too much. I tried to keep her face nice and pale to go along with the references that I saw in front of me. And then finally, to add some warm tones to her skin, I used the Pale Heath marker. I really love using this pen, and I think it works extremely well for skin tones like this. For the colouring of her eye, I used a sky blue for the darker area, and a frost blue for the lighter area, uh, and then to add a little bit of shading and colouring to the white of her eye, I used a pale blue-grey. For the colouring of her mouth, I used a mixture of blush, pure pink, tender pink, and rose red, and then afterwards I used a light grape to add some darker shading to the top lip. For the white paint highlights that you can see on the eyes, nose and mouth, I used a Uniball Signo Broad Pigment Ink white pen. I probably ended up going a bit overboard with the highlights, but I really love adding them with this pen. Once I'd finished colouring the details of Mercy's face, it was time to move on to working on the colouring of her hair. And for the main colouring of this, I used eggshell, making sure to leave the left side of her hair uh, much more highlighted, and just adding strands of colouring with the eggshell marker. And then afterwards I used the raw silk marker to add some darker tones to the undersides of some of the pieces of hair uh, that you can see uh, around her fringe and around the back of her head, adding more shading to that area. Uh, also to add a little bit of extra shading to those areas, I used a cool grey one. After working on Mercy's hair, I decided to add the colouring to her halo. For this, for the base layer of the, li the lighter colouring at the centre of the halo, I used light reddish yellow. After that, to add the darker shading moving outwards from the centre, I used honey. And then for the darkest areas on the, on the edges of the halo, I used brown. To darken the outer edges of the halo and to kind of take away the, the vibrant colouring of the brown marker, I used, uh, over the top of it, I used Cool Grey 5 and moving outwards a Cool Grey 3. Moving on from that, it was time to work on the colouring of Mercy's armour, and for the darker areas of the armour, I started off by using a base layer of Cool Grey 5, and then I used a Cool Grey 7 over the top of that to add the darker shading, and I kind of blended that outwards, trying to keep the shading as smooth as possible. And then for the lighter panels of the armour, I used the same process, but with the lighter markers, so I started off with a base layer of Cool Grey 1, and then used a Cool Grey 3 over the top of that to add some darker shading around the outer areas of some of those panels of the armour. In the lighter armour section, I tried to make some of the panels stand out, so I used the Uniball highlighter pen again to add some white paint highlights going around some of the ridges, and just to show up some kind of almost 3D details in some of the panelling of the armour. Um, also making sure to add some shading to the undersides of some parts of the panelling, just to make it seem like it's not all on one surface, and just basically trying to make some of the panels seem like they're extruded and on a different level. For the orange areas of the armour that you can see around her neck and around the outer edges of her arm, 
I used a base layer of honey and apricot and then for the darker shading of those areas I used a brown carpet marker. I used the same processes for the colouring of her wing and then used a light reddish yellow to add the yellow areas. I actually really tried to match the warm yellow tone throughout this drawing so from the yellow areas on, on her wing and then the orange areas on her armour and the orange and yellow areas on the halo having all of these match in the same warm yellow tones I think that really helps to um, just keep everything flowing through the drawing and I think it has a positive effect um, in the overall result once all of this colouring was completed, I decided to add a little bit of a background, and for that I used a pale heath marker to add some areas of colouring, uh, leaving some areas blank, and then using a white Prisma colour pencil to add some clouds in the background. I also used the white Prisma colour pencil to add some particle effects, and then finally used the highlighter pen to add some more particles in the background as well. Um, after that I filled in a thick black border going around the outside of the drawing and then that was the drawing completed. Overall I think it took about three and a half, maybe four hours to complete in total. Um, I'm really pleased with how it looks in the end. As I mentioned before, I tried to go for more of an anime style in this drawing, so please let me know what you think of this drawing in the comments below. And at the last minute I realised that I actually hadn't added the wing in the background, so I quickly added some blocks of colouring with the Cool Grey 3 and a Buttercup Yellow just for some faded colouring in the background. I didn't add any outlines as I wanted that wing to look like it was blurred. If you want to see more videos like this then make sure you're subscribed and any likes, shares, that kind of support is always hugely appreciated and it means so much to me. If you want to follow along with the progress photos throughout the week and keep up to date with everything then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel. It means so much to me, and working on drawings like this is always so much fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.